See, I thought the carrier cap might be kind of short. It is actually kind of long though. So then back to the crew floor. We need some windows and my window is not here. But it was in the wrong place anyway. It was a bit too high. So now that is the correct height. Got a window there, some windows on the front. I'll probably put some of these windows back. Okay, let's look about how, like, can I get some windows? Oh man, that's kind of not good, eh? The crew, <laughs> there's no windows in the crew cabin at all. There could be one in the bathroom. It's up so high, like no one would ever be looking in here. And I wonder if I get rid of this wardrobe, this locker. Ah, it seems real weird. I could put windows here. Maybe all the crew that is sleeping on that side gets windows. Do you think? Or is that a bit weird? I don't know. Probably also want to have some windows maybe in the back of this. I think for now what I'll do is I'll just get some, some of the space build out for things. I'm going to put in a some kind of dining area. I want to get a pipe. I think I'm going to have to leave this six wide. It actually does look quite good six wide. So this marker here will just move across. That is fine. Then I think I'm going to need the path to come down the side of this thing. I'm going to put a rail. Yeah, at the start of that. So there's like a, a little handrail thing to separate the eating area from where you're collecting the food. I wonder if I should use this seat. I want to have more of like a dining area than stools and I don't want it to seem like a bar, you know? I want it to seem like a restaurant. Really got to figure out how to put a backing on this seat just to cover up that gap. I think windows kind of work, but they don't really fill in the gap that much. <laughs> Putting a seat on the back actually looks really good. Like fills it out perfectly. <laughs> we'll do that. This is my new seat. It's got exhaust manifold legs. <laughs> Whole nother seat on the back. And then just messed up microcontrollers. Giving some people some space beside them. Space to stretch. And then I need a table. Tabletop. What is flat like a table? A HUD is flat like a table. A HUD has no surface though. If I XML it, then you'll just fall through it. Same with windows. Windows look more like a glass table than anything though. What about an empty equipment? I just had a really good idea for this though. If you stretched a one by one equipment slot over a hopper, then you might be able to make some kind of uh, fish sorting tray for your trawlers. But looking for a table. Table, table, table. I think barrel extensions, these ones, the light auto cannon, they would be good as like a table leg. Might have to do a four wide table. Now oh, that maybe looks a bit too tall, right? If the table's way up here. So, which would mean probably going down to pipes. The radio video. What is an Xmit? Is that supposed to be transmit? Oh my goodness. I've never noticed that unless they've just added that in. I think they've just added that. That's real stupid though. This always looked like a good leg. Probably have to XML something into it though. It's also really expensive. It's not fun. I want you to be able to jump on top of this table. So that's why I'm trying to make it fully solid block. If I could get these curved ones to go in the corner, that'd be good. Oh wait, it's all like, it's a totally different direction. Yeah, it's not gonna matter. What about friction pad to rock it? It'd be cheaper. Bonk, bonk. And then I just have a normal floor. And well, if I get rid of the friction pad, then I can actually just use the curved door 
as the corner and then flip the edge up the other way get rid of all that take some normal rockets oh they don't even line up what about pipes pipes do they're just ugly does that look good as a table or do i need another curvy thing something else curvy to fill in the gap i could do two exhaust manifolds And I'm also thinking maybe the table should get a bit longer, but it's one of those things like it probably doesn't really matter that much. Man, look how much those seats take up. Whoops, I tried to flip them. That's not going to work. Copy this, rotate it. Get rid of these pipes back here. Man, those seat hitboxes, they come way out. Which means if I wanted to put another one in behind it, you've got a massive space. I mean, it's not too bad. It probably goes back one, right? Because I get rid of all these pipes. That's pretty good, actually. It takes up so much room and it kind of lines up with where this pipe is. I don't know. Maybe, maybe there's like a, a bar or something on this side. I'm going to take just the table, but... I'm going to push it over even further, like into the wall, into the wall, essentially. Get rid of this edge. It goes right up to the wall. And then I'm going to get rid of every second seat, I think, or I'm going to space the seats out even further. I want this to be that space where you don't have to sit by anyone. If you're that kind of person or you're just, you're just having a bad day, you don't want to sit at the table. There's a space where you can go and just sit and be separated from people. So the spacing's a bit bigger. And then I'll put windows through the long porthole window. And I mean, that can probably keep going on anyway, the windows. What do you think? It's simple, right? It doesn't have to be... It doesn't have to be too much stuff down here. I want this pipe to probably carry on. Uh, so it's coming up to where the back of the seat is. I'm going to carry on from there. And then, then it's maybe only... Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that lines up really well. So there'll be a block in there. Then a 90 degree pipe on top of this get rid of this one get rid of that i might put a wall in here actually carry on with this wall yeah this table can just come right up to the wall and then i'll get rid of that porthole and put in a divider through here i think yeah and then i've got nice spacing for this whole section and then this can have windows mostly through there I've got a door, I can put all my windows back in, I think. These are all, you know, front facing, there's nothing out there, so they're just letting light come through. Man, I really wanted an aquarium in here, but there's no way to make it look nice. What if I do like a, a planter? Oh, what would be cool is if this was actually a, an outside deck. Doesn't have to be a, a whole big space because oh, what I was thinking as well is that back here could be like a a quiet area or like a like study rooms or just a quiet room if you want to call someone do something like have a personal space because I can imagine that being a thing on a ship. So what I'm kind of imagining is like a maybe like a nine. How big would this be? Nine by nine, a really small kind of room, maybe a bit longer. 9 by 11. Yeah, that, that works out really well. I wonder if I should do them the other way so that they have outside facing windows. Or maybe there's just, they don't need to exist. It seems like a, a small space, that's all. Let's do this, because uh, this bit here is going to help. So it's like a, it's permanently railed off kind of thing, but it lets you go outside. 
put some porthole windows along here. I think that would be right. And then a door. So it'll have to be the hinged door. It'd be good if it could be like a double door. Because imagine you're working on a ship like this and there is a helipad and decks that let you go outside obviously but I don't know if you're just hanging around inside all day and you need to go outside because it's always nice and that brings the interior space right up to there I'm gonna have to kind of scoop by the rubbish bin and then we've got a lounge area yeah so with these like I do want this kind of private room type thing Oh, look at that. Everyone gets a window. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Uh huh, uh huh. Yes. These are actually only seven wide now. I'm just going to take this as my table design. Oh, I should probably set these legs a little bit differently. There you go. Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to use this chair exactly in this room because of the seat on the back. Oh, it's gonna work. It's gonna work. These rooms don't even need to be that far back. Just as far back as wherever the seat comes to. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm okay with that. That's fine. And then I think we'll go down here. We'll do a hallway. So now I have this huge space in here. Do I just leave that open as a, a huge thing? Or do I put a room in here? Like, what would I put in here, though? What can take up this space? Yeah, that's good, eh? So this... This in here is the lounge, sitting, talking, being noisy, then I'm thinking a movie theater, but let me know, I'll leave this, I'll leave this open and leave a suggestion of what kind of room could go in here. So then I just need to sort out this chair, this like couch arrangement. I think it's, it's okay how it is, I just need another one of those here. And these will be totally boxed in, I think. I need something to cover this up. I don't like that you can see through there. Just put... Uh, what, about, what about a door? Yeah, <laughs> just a door. Is that okay? Is there any... Yeah, I don't think there's any gaps through there. Okay. One here. And one here. Nice. Nice. And now one of these tables, but lower and smaller, I think. No, same, same size, just lower. Yes. Yes. Get some legs. I think we're going manifolds for all the legs. Actually, this one could be... Let's see, MD equipment inventories would be quite good, I think. Although it's an even number, so I need to be careful about this. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. It's like a floating table with some storage space below. I really want to put some kind of plant in here. So I'll get a physics flutter because I don't want to be putting random blocks in there. Physics flood that, then what do you think about like a brown? This is dirt. Yeah. What if I do a door then where it's allowing you to see down the sides of that? Don't think I can get anything for the corners on that. This should be okay. What looks like a plant? Rails, rails look like plants, don't they? Nothing is going to look like a small bush. That's the problem. Like a, a small flower, maybe one of these. 
maybe I can do different colors or do a cross as a stem and the T-piece as a variation of a stem with less leaves. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Then there must be something that looks kind of flowery. Must be. You'll just have to imagine, okay? I'm gonna use this pink. <laughs> it looks so alien. No, this doesn't look right. Some kind of mangled cactus plant. I think I'll get another one of these lounge, this whole lounge area. I really like this. It reminds me of a bar where you get like a booth, a little booth in a bar, private. Right, please don't die. Oh, it died. Bring that over there. Yes. Oh, right. uh, one more this way. Uh, did not really like that, but it's going there. That's cool, eh? Gotta admit, that's pretty cool. One, two, three, four, five. I think I'll make this, this, wow. This whole thing back here doesn't really need to be that big or that small. But I think I can put equipment through here. Still got to find a place to put fire extinguishers. We would absolutely need fire extinguishers everywhere. And then we'll need some rockets as pillars to come up to the roof level. Because like this is a this is a very large room and I'm sure it would need some kind of support to keep the middle of the roof up. And then this is just a pass-through area because if you were walking through here, you'd have a bunch of people going back and forth between the kitchen and their seat. Probably could have another table over here for, like, I don't know, getting utensils and things. Should I go from that window to this window? I really like that. As a crew deck, this feels very inviting and... You know the place that you go to relax there is only eight beds on this floor though and there's more than eight seats so <laughs> i don't know how many crew is supposed to be living on this ship this middle section could be more crew sleeping quarters or there could be it could be say that this is an officer's room or something or, you know like someone it could be people who have a higher rank so they get to exist they get to sleep on the floor with all the food and stuff on it already and then maybe there's a floor down below somewhere there's some more space for sleeping for less important people i don't know it's a very well equipped ship though i think i could do some painting now we're gonna just paint everything white everything that's a gross color and then yeah that turned out pretty well pretty happy all right, let me do, let me do this, the freezer. I want to get the HUD, um, this HUD wall. I wonder if I should just copy that whole wall. It'd be better if it were a bit thicker than this. Also, there's pipes or something in there. I don't know. I'm going to go from the ground, yeah, to the roof. And then there's space for another one, which is good. So I can get, so I've got like a shelf and I reckon rockets and rockets and pipes and stuff would look good on there. So what color would a can be? You can make it silver, but then it just looks silver. What about a pipe? Does a pipe look like a can? I mean, it kind of looks like a can. Where is the decorations DLC? We need more decorative pieces. A uh, hard point kind of looks like a mug, but like, why would you have a mug in here? I don't know. Well, we've got shelving, but nothing to put on it exactly. So I've got this space to fill, which I'm going to fill with boxes of this color. Nice big shipping label on that cardboard box. Just change the color of that, and then it looks like it's a different sender. And if I move where some of the marks are for the print. Like what if it prints the other way instead? Bit of a different shipping label. Make a longer box. 
course, this one's got multiple labels on it. One of them's scratched off a little bit. I want this one to come right up to the edge, so it's like a different type of logo. And we'll have like a, this will be a scratched off, scratched off sticker. Didn't quite make it. I think this one can be a bit of a flat box. We'd better get the Metal Gear Solid box. What do I call it? Sneaking info. I don't even know what it is. I'll get the pink one. I like the pink one. It's a very large box. Oh, I'll get rid of all the pivots and stuff in it though. It does not need this or this. And then I just need something to cover up that hole at the top. And behind here, I get rid of any blocks that I don't need anymore that you'll never see. Uh, I need that top one, but I don't need the seat. There you go. Could put another smaller box up here, I think, but... That's quite a lot of stuff, and then if I can find things... I don't know what is going on with these, right? Because everything is going to be very small, very strange to go on a shelf. Plus, I can't put anything in that middle spot. So if I get rid of... Hold on, so I can put it on that top one. I can't put it on this one. So I should get rid of this, this, and this. And now I should be able to put stuff on the shelves. Okay, yeah, 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 that works. What do I need on these shelves? Probably like uh, the exhaust. If you color the exhaust, it could maybe look like a bottle of something, but I can't put it up into that top row. So it's got to go in some strategic places. A couple of bottles or something. Electric motor? What does that look like? A jar? A jar of something? I don't know. We've got a jar of three bottles. Maybe some cans of blue stuff, and maybe some of them are a bit expired or older, so they've got a slight hint to their colour. That's, that's gonna do for now. I don't know how else I'm supposed to put stuff in a freezer, you know? What colour are the walls of a freezer? I would imagine that they are white. I'm gonna Put this grey stripe around here though, and I'm going to come down and do it. Uh, it's not going to let me paint behind the HUDs. I've got like the, the two-tone, we're going with two-tone grey on the bottom, white on the top. There's no windows in the freezer, it's got to stay cold. And then behind the boxes is all physics flooded, so that should make that object a bit better. Probably the roof in the kitchen could be grey. So with the floor, I think I want to do wooden planks like there was on Clifford. Let's go steal some some of the floor from Clifford. All right, do I want the outside floor? Because I think the outside floor color is actually really nice. Or do I want the inside floor? Which is okay, but it's a bit orange. Yeah, I really like this one a lot better. Okay, 
Okay, here it comes. Wow. Wow, performance <laughs> warning. This isn't... This is like half of one floor and we're getting a performance warning. This looks interesting. Don't know how I feel about that. So I think I, I tried to paint the floor in kind of the, the wooden texture. I put the grey tiles at every entrance. It's going to be kind of hard to see without coming real far back. I haven't on this bit of wall. Let me know what you think should go in this room. I'm not sold on anything just yet. This would be lounge area. Just want to come and hang out, lay about on a couch. Then you've got the crew deck. So if the crew wants to come outside and just be outside because they need fresh air. Recycling bin, like a bar area or just a sitting by yourself kind of area. You can see outside though, so that's nice. And then big tables. So if you want to get, if you're having some kind of get together or there's a lot of people on the ship for some reason, there is the capacity to seat everyone. And then I envision this little table is just being somewhere. So you would come down here, grab a plate, fill up on what you want to eat. And then over here would be like cutlery or something. Cutlery, napkins, that kind of stuff. Or maybe some extra specialty serving things. Like a pudding or something. And then you come and find your seat and have your dinner, have your meal. The store would lead outside so you can get onto the front deck. I don't really know what the point of that door would be. Kitchen. Freezer. Stocked with supplies and love. <laughs> and a cardboard box on the roof. Yeah, that's pretty good though. I did not decorate any of these rooms because I'm not quite sure what goes in here. I think it would just be this a seat and a desk and yeah, so if, if you need to make a personal phone call, you don't want anyone listening in, or if you want to come like read a book, you don't want anyone bothering you, these would be what those rooms are for. Because this ship would be something that's out at sea like for a very long time. That staircase is missing, so that'll be interesting trying to merge that back in. We've got windows on the bunks now. Which, I don't know if it really needs those, but I'm not bothered either way. Bathroom, shower. Had a recommendation to put a shower head and a fluid port in so that you can actually turn the shower on. Which, because there's a sealed door here, I think is an okay idea. The fluid port would just be able to suck up any liquids and send it down into a tank. Might even be able to put it in behind here under the sink just depends how noisy that pump is going to be because you'd want to be pumping it out of probably a air ram then into a fluid port to suck it up and then into a tank under the sink and then you just run pipes through the walls to link it all up i feel like i got most things done on this floor it's just maybe that outside area for the crew deck and the middle room and then those quiet private rooms just need some decorating and if you've got any ideas for plants let me know because they're a real pain there's basically nothing that i can think of that would look like a nice flower or a shrub or something otherwise i'm pretty happy with this floor and i'm okay with saying that it's generally it's completed so i'll get this merged into the main ship and then i think we'll be going upstairs onto the bridge floor or the bridge deck thanks for watching See you later.